<sighs> Good morning, everyone. December 14, 2016. It's 1 19 p.m. Going to work. Very early, though, because I want to go and have lunch and make these, even though I just ate two hours ago. I just have to get ready for my afternoon. Very cold morning, very, very cold morning. My car, my car still isn't warm. Uh, it's uh, somewhat mildly sunny outside. I'm gonna have to start bringing my toque because uh, it's getting colder. Can't wear my hat anymore. I have to keep my head warm. Girl, heat me up. So my sister made my pamphlet yesterday for my company. It's pretty good. She did a good job. Yeah, it's really her job. It's her, it's her skill to do that. I just frankly have no imagination for drawing anymore or doing stuff like this. So that's her skill. She says she's going to pay for it and send it to me uh, by Burango. So that's gonna be good. So next week I'm gonna to have to work on that. I'm gonna. I have the same schedule for the next uh, four four weeks. So uh, won't be so bad. <sighs> uh, my posting on uh, on eBay for my smartwatch and my uh, Walkman got like two three views uh, it would be it would be just fortunate to land on somebody that's rich enough to uh, help someone out so I could just pass a stress-free all the days I have the the 24 the 25 and the 26 off that's not bad Water is still frozen solid. <laughs> it's uh, somewhat mild. Uh, not very frozen, but still frozen. I can have a sip. Ah, ice cold water. Literally. <sighs> Thank God for heated seat. Uh, my buns are toasty yeah so this morning I was lucky enough to win $27 on my lottery it's been a couple of weeks since I won something probably a month or so when I looked at it this morning I, uh, I look and I saw numbers and I said like oh wow so I checked uh, I checked with the QR code to get the immediate result I was hoping for a thousand dollars. That would have been very, very nice this morning. So I could pay off all like the substantial debts that I have right now. But on the on the hard ends, I got uh, yesterday night uh, after where I work. I got uh, I met someone, a customer at where I work, that has a contact with LED's company. They might need installers and other stuff like this. So. Just can't wait to see what they're gonna say. If I still can sell my flashlight idea to a LED company, that would be a good venue. I just have to wait and see if the contact's gonna go through and I'll get in touch with them. That's gonna be a good venue. Or if I can literally get a job in that field. That's gonna be even better. I'm not right now of people who needs to work. I've got tons of people around me that needs to work. So creating that, uh, creating work and stuff like this, it's really, uh, it's really feasible. Ah, the sun is coming out, very bright. And the roads are still slushy, icy, wet.
when it's about uh, minus three outside a row that is driven often on the row will be around five six degrees celsius which will melt ice and snow right away it's when there's uh, no car passing on the asphalt for about 10 15 minutes that the row will start to cool off and uh, the water particulate on the, on the road will turn to ice black ice this is why when you're driving and uh, on the back road it's very dangerous you have to be very careful but here on the highway it's only during a snowstorm where the snow piles up that it's become risky because during a weather like this when the sun hit the asphalt sometimes the asphalt can go as far as 7 to 10 degrees celsius when it's like minus 3 outside because the asphalt is this big dense black rocky particulates it just absorb the heat and keep it up when we used to when i used to work for the geo special company uh, we used to study asphalt the way it reacts and it, uh, stretch contract react to heat so we used to study this because uh, we needed to know with our camera our to, how to capture the reflection and the image of the asphalt when it reacts to different weathers there was a company here and sure there was a company here in St. Sabaya that specialized in that field they specialize in concrete uh, analysis and asphalt analysis they have fridge and stoves and uh, conclave enclaves where they heat up cold up the concrete and the asphalt down to freezing points to see uh, to see how it will react to the Quebec weather and uh, one time I was asked to join in the development of a, a rolling mattress not a ma not a, ma a rolling matrix which is a tire that goes back and forth with pressure per hours so that tires go left and right left and right left and right non-stop and every hour it increases the pressure to see how the concrete is going to break down and the asphalt is going to stretch and uh, I help in the development of that device it didn't give me much but I did help who wants to drive a rear wheel drive vehicles in the winter and Nissan 350Z or a BMW 330Ci rear wheel drive god those are bad in the winter uh, most of my life I drove front wheel drive in the winter I never had an issue and when I got my two four wheel drive vehicles my two Mazdas god that was like heaven these two vehicles would really drive very well it was so impressive Yesterday was a wet day at work and I think it's going to be the exact same thing today again. Very wet. It's going to be wet for the next few weeks. Until it gets cold to a certain point where the ice doesn't, uh, doesn't melt that fast. <sighs> Sorry, I slept till 10 today. Slept so well. This is the best time of the year when I slept so well. If I <laughs> if I would win the lottery, I would spend like two, three weeks just sleeping and resting, enjoying the weather. I don't have much to say today. Same old, same old. I wonder if my manager is going to be there when I reach. I started shopping online for my customers part that they want for their vehicles. I have to send them the link. But I did tell them clearly I'm not making purchase because I don't have money on my credit cards. 
And if they want the product and me to do the job, they have to buy the product on their own. But uh, <laughs> most of them are not very fluent in English. So they're gonna require my help. But they're nice people, it's fun. I just hope that when I venture to go to the dealership, it's gonna be uh, as successful as I hope it will be. Lots of people still going, to, still flocking to Walmart all the times. All the times in Walmart. They, uh, they see a value in this uh, company. I know that there's a good value at Walmart, you know, as a company, as a whole, it's a stable enterprise. But it's such a, it's not what it used to be. Because before it used to be oriented for a, Customer service, the customer was always right. As I still see it sometimes that the customer is always right as well. And uh, every employee were devoted to keep the customer happy and satisfied. And uh, nowadays it's, uh, it's the entire opposite. People are tired of it. Uh, they're tired of working for Walmart. They worked for Walmart for many years without any recognitions, thanks or anything. And the only people who get benefit are the C, the, the, the those uh, CMS, the people under the manager, the big management. It's a, uh, it's 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 a rewardless job, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go have lunch. I'll see you guys tonight. See you later, everyone.